Always consult an architect before creating the site for construction. It helps a lot. Hello, we'll be back to our channel. This is once again Mike Mukera, an architect by profession, consultant, but also lecturer. Today we are looking at tips and tricks for sloping sites. Did you know an ideal site slope should range between 5% to above 15%? How sloping is your land stock site? Before we proceed, in case you haven't, please do subscribe, like, and also hit the notification bell so you keep getting notified every single time we upload a new video to this channel. At Real Property Guidance, we want to assess and know what are some of these issues of dealing with sloping sites. Site slope ranges. We do have the slope as a percentage, approximate degrees, and then the associated terminology. Now, from 0 up to about 5%, or from 0 up to 3 degrees, here we are looking at in between level ground and very gentle slope. When it comes to between 5 and 15 degrees, rather 3 to 8.5 degrees and 5 to 15 percent. Here you're looking at moderate side slopes. It's gentle, it's in between gentle and moderate slope. When it comes to 15 to 45, we do have strong and very strong side slopes. Beyond 45 up to 100, we are looking at between extreme and very steep side slopes. It is very important to understand site slope ranges because then you quickly start designing solutions that are relating to the site slope of your land. And the first step to do that is to make a site survey so that uh, an architect can interpret and know the site slope range of your site. Let's talk about the key issues of building on steep slopes. Now, steep slopes can be very interesting sites, but they also have some issues. If you do own a piece of land that has such a steep slope, you must have encountered a number of issues if you attempted to construct a build. Now, let's look at a number of them which could maybe help you uh, to solve some of the challenges you've been experiencing. Soil stability. When the soft soil stock bag fields are not well managed, they can easily lead to landslides that can even go beyond your site to affect the neighbors. Then we talk about construction activity. There should be limited disturbance to the ground during construction, excavation, and bug feeding, especially during the rainy season. Because if you affect the ground by so much, it will also affect the kind of building. Then we talk about foundation stability. Special care must be taken to ensure that the foundations are supported by the most stable soils. We've heard a lot of stories of buildings that are falling every now and then. 
and most of the reasons are associated with structure. The structure, composition, or the structure element of those buildings. Some of them have uh, poor foundations, some of them have been built on sites that were a cut and fill, and therefore they never did the right foundations to reach the stable soils. Lastly, we talk about water management. Managing the runoff water should be also a great matter of concern if you're dealing with a site that has a great slope. You see the challenge with runoff water, or let's call it basically water management. It will be an advantage because can easily run away but if it is also running at a high speed you might want to control that speed because it might go with other things and in this case it could go with soil and thus cause soil or site erosion therefore uh, if you if you're having a site that has uh, a slope of that nature it's important uh, to take these considerations or these issues very seriously and tips on why you should opt for sloping sites. To me sloping sites are very interesting sites. But at times of course when the slope is very steep, they can be very threatened. You start wondering how you're going to tame that kind of slope. But let's look at a number of things that could encourage you to actually go for sloping sites. Number one, unique house designs and views. When designing with the slope, as in you follow the slope, you will ultimately get a unique and interesting house design that has very interesting views. Okay? Then, number two, interesting landscapes. Accessibility on different site levels will call for interesting hardscape designs that are aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Because you have different levels, so you're going to either go for ramps or stairs, all of which could water harvest and water purification systems.
One second, this is Mike Mikaira. Real estate plus architecture plus land management. Education and guidance. As a reminder, we want to say that please do subscribe just in case you haven't. You can like, but also hit the notification bell and keep getting notified every single time we release a new video to this platform. Please do leave your comments below. You can also connect and follow us through other social media platforms by following the links in the description. We do have architecture designs and construction guidance, it's a Facebook page, real property guidance, RPG, it's a WhatsApp group, Instagram, and then Twitter. You could also check out our previous video, Building a House, the Key Types. So, because this video is basically following up on the previous video, and the two are so much linked. Short of that, we want to say that keep on the lookout for our next video. At Real Property Guidance, we say thank you and thank you once again.